Hey, look. Look. Take a look. She's going up to pray. What do we do? Ha. What type of question is that? Is that not the reason why we are here? Get her distracted. Simple. Than what people say, Jehovah, more than what people say. You are kind, you are good, you are more than what people say. You are kind, you are good, you are more than what people say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hello? You mean I need to correct something in the quotation I submitted? But can't it wait for some minutes? I should come right away. Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I will be on my way. Thank you. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. We won. <laughs> ah. Look at him. Ah. What is this? Anytime he goes up, he always causes his arm in our kingdom. You must get him distracted. You must get him distracted. Yes. Get him distracted. Yes. Hello? Please, who is on the line? Chief Ayani, the local government chairman. Please, can I speak with the doctor? I called all his phones and they were switched off. Oh, sorry, sir. He's praying and his usual habit is to switch off his phone whenever I spring. Please, can you tell him I need to speak with him urgently? Oh, sorry, sir. There is a standing order from him. Not to knock at his door whenever he's praying. Okay. Can I call him back in three minutes' time? No, sir. He will call you back when it's true. Okay, alright. No problem. Ah, we lost him again. Huh? When? Are we going to succeed on this man? He's always getting stronger because of his fervent and effective prayers. Ah. Ah. Here comes Wally. He's going up to pray. Take a look. Leave him. Let him go. Why? We have a mark on him. And you know, if he succeeds praying, our project on him will be terminated. His prayer can never be effective. Because he lacks knowledge and understanding. He always pray without understanding. Look, we can't waste our time on people like this. Let him go. I don't understand. How do you mean? Oh Lord my God, I present my case before your throne. Lord, I did her no evil. What I did was not intentional, and I begged her. Yet, somebody insisted on punishing me. She insisted on destroying me. Lord my God, you are my defense. 
You are my refuge. You are my fortress. Lord, rise up and fight for me. Let your judgment fall upon her right now. I declare fire. Fire! 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 God of all, I've come to present my own case too. Wale was here to present a case against a member of my kingdom. Not minding your words that says that they should enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. He is so selfish and self-centered that he refused to adore or praise you. He only poured out his mind and left your throne. That is not even my problem. We have passed a judgment on him. And I have come to explain the reason why the judgment must stand. Yes, Wale is only righteous before you. But your word says in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. But every idle word spoken by men shall be judged thereof on the day of judgment. Just because of simple annoyance. Wale called a woman you created wonderfully and fearfully. An idiot! Not only that, he called a group of people that you created bunch of fools. <laughs> Your word says that they should honor their father and their mother so that their days can be long on this earth. But Wale refused to do that. He refused to honor his father and mother with his time, substance, and not even referencing them. Therefore, God of all, he deserved untimely death. And we are taking care of that. I rest my case. <laughs> I finished him, foolish man. <laughs> Praying without understanding. They love to pray, but hate to read the word that you give them understanding. <laughs> you will see them moving from one mountain to the other, but they will never attend Bible study. We don't need to waste our time on people like Wale. We need to conserve our energy on the serious one among them. <laughs> Foolish man. Finish him. Hello, my chairman. Hi, hello, Doc. I called your phone and your office earlier on, and I was told you were praying and you locked your door. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Chief. Uh, you know, Jesus told us in Matthew 6 6 that uh, we should uh, shut our door when we pray. So, uh, I usually shut my door against the world when I'm praying in my closet. <laughs> Now, why well, for your Christianity? Oh. Thank God, I am a Christian too. <laughs> uh, Chief, please, why did you call me? <sighs> um, again, again. Um, all right. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I can't even remember now. Uh, something just came up, and I needed to speak with you urgently. Anyway, anytime I remember, I will try to call you back. Okay, that's okay, sir. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye.